Well, let's talk now to uh, Nabil Fahmy, uh, Egypt's foreign minister, former foreign minister of uh, foreign affairs. Nabil, uh, welcome. Your reaction, first of all, to uh, this agreement? Well, first of all, I welcome the agreement. It has several uh, important positive elements. Uh, Palestinians coming together is important. They will have to govern the West Bank and Gaza uh, within the unity government. Uh, having a Chinese active role in the region is also important. That provides uh, multiple options uh, for the regional players to reach out for support. Regrettably, it's already evident that the regional players alone cannot solve the problem. Therefore, having several major powers engaging in it is of paramount importance. How will this unity deal impact the um, relationship between Hamas and Fatah, given their difficult history? There will be ups and downs. There are still differences. But they, one of the real challenges is they have to learn to uh, work with each other, deal with their differences. And the differences are not, by the way, about an independent Palestinian state. They are about how to govern that state. So they need, like everybody else, to sit down and discuss that and find ways around it. But let's not miss the point here. The problem with the present situation on the Palestine question is the Israeli occupation. If that isn't dealt with, nothing else is going to solve the problem. I mean, Israel uh, has opposed this deal, uh, particularly uh, any involvement of Hamas in uh, Gaza's uh, future governance. I mean, how do you... Uh, see this affecting the future of this agreement? Well, Israel is today negotiating with Hamas on the hostages versus prisoners release and ceasefires. So real politic means you deal with your adversaries. They are doing that now. Uh, our position is that we need to deal with the crisis in Gaza, but also with the solution of the problem, uh, which is the, the Palestinian question and the absence of the Palestinian state. To achieve that, we need two states at peace with each other. And that's the question, really, that Palestinians together will have to decide upon how do they have peace with Israel. But they can't solve that question unless Israel also is much more, uh, if you want, uh, takes much more of the initiative in committing to a formal withdrawal from Gaza and a two-state solution which they had just recently voted against. What role do you envision for uh, the wider international community uh, playing in this, in either supporting or opposing uh, this uh, unity deal? This is the longest standing conflict in history, with the longest occupation. Uh, as a regional player, I come from Egypt. Regrettably, I have to admit, we are not able to solve it alone. We need international help. Traditionally, it has been an American-led process. America is of tremendous importance. America, China, Russia, uh, the EU, this is all in support for peace. We're not anti-anybody here. We are simply pro-peace. And on that basis, what do you make of uh, China's role in uh, facilitating uh, this agreement? It's clearly an increasing role. Uh, as was mentioned in your introduction, they facilitated the Iran-Saudi deal. The, their foreign minister has previously mentioned that they're looking for security and cooperation in the Middle East based on dialogue. These are new developments in, in, in Chinese international diplomacy. I support that. But we want, and we want that role to be even more active. To do that, it's to fill a space to provide a better balance, but it is not going to be at the expense of other powers. Nabil, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Nabil Farmer, it's Egypt's my pleasure. Uh, former Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, talking to us there from Cairo.